Hi everyone, welcome to our next craft video from Paper Flourish and uh, this one is our third Lavinia uh, journal page challenge. So um, thank you so much, we've been loving the pages you've been sending in, we've been popping them up on Facebook, you're doing the most beautiful pages. So thank you so much for joining in the challenge. Uh, I will give you again a couple of weeks for this one. I'll put the date, uh, the week when we'll be putting up the Facebook post. So please have fun creating your journal pages. Send them in to inquiries at paperflourish.com.au. Of course, we use one of the Lavinia stamps as the inspiration. You don't have to have the stamp. You do not have to put it in your page. I just want you to use it as your inspiration. So I hope you're all wondering what is going to be our third challenge stamp. The one I've chosen to use is the Secret Garden stamp. So I want to see, I'd, we would love to see your journal pages um, of your secret garden. So I'm going to make mine right now. Um, I have do have a friend in the, in the room at the moment. We'll see if he pops up and says hello in a minute. He's been exploring the craft table. Um, I've made a cup of coffee. So please, if you've got a cup of coffee, um, or if not, pause the video, go and make yourself a cuppa and come and join in with your cup of coffee. All right, so I have been using the Stamperia Ring Binder Journal for the Lavinia uh, Challenge pages I've been doing. And so far we've had first challenge, don't forget to fly. The second one uh, was the Spring Words. So today, the Secret Garden. Now again, the great thing about this journal is that you can take the page out, work on it, and then pop it back in. So I've already chosen my page, and I've decided to go with the lovely music, the music page. It's just got a, it just shows the music in the background there, just faintly. So it'll add that to the page, but at the same time, there's plenty of page there that I can work on. So what I've decided to do for to start my page is I'm going to do a gel press, and I've got the Lavinia elliptical gel press which is this one here it's an oval shape I've popped it on my large Lavinia uh, acrylic board which I love to do for the gel press so what I'm planning on doing first thing I'm going to do is make my gel press print onto the page so let's work on that Pop that to the side I'll pop the stamp to the side but I'm going to keep it close by so I do want to pop it onto my page. So let me get a piece of paper here. Remember, you can do whatever you want on your journal page. Okay, you can follow what I'm doing. You can do something different. Just have fun. So I'm going to use the Elements ink pads on the gel press. I love these ink pads. They're beautiful and vibrant. They're nice and inky, so they work extremely well on the gel press. The one I'm going to start with is Sundance. Really beautiful yellow colour. Let's ink up the brayer. If you can see that all okay. And I'm just going to put the yellow all the way over the gel press. It's a really pretty colour. This comes out a really nice bright yellow when you print. So that's the first colour. Now I want to have a stenciled image. Uh, I want to do that with the gel press. So I'll just pop the Sundance to the side there. So the stencil I've chosen to use is this gorgeous one. It is called Ambience. So what I'm going to do is place this on top of the gel press. Just pressing it down. So that's on the gel press now. I'm going to get my second colour and I've chosen another Elements Colour Pine. I'm going to ink up the pine with my brayer. And this time I'm just going to go over the top of the gel press again, but the stencil is on the gel press. So we're going to end up with a stencil pattern of green and yellow. This wipes really easily off the stencil afterwards. That's with a baby wipe. So that's our green. Now before we take the print, I am going to take the stencil away. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'll hold it up. You can see what's happened, but can you see there, even there, you can see the stencil pattern. You've got the yellow background and the green stenciled image on it. So let's take our print. So I'll bring back my journal page. I'm going to turn this over and this is going to press down onto, I'm going to pop it right in the center of my page. 
I have this idea that I want the oval to be the secret garden and then I'm going to do some things around the outside as well. Pressing down you can see if there's any areas that haven't printed because they look lighter than the rest. So it looks like it's all printed. Let's turn it over, let's peel it off and have a look at the magic. Isn't that pretty? So a really quick way to make a nice a different background uh, using your gel press and those colours work really well together. I find when I do this method, use your lighter colour first, your darker colour second, and then you end up with this great stencil effect. All right, I'm just going to give the gel press a quick wipe. It's that easy. The ink comes off no problem at all. Most of the ink ended up on the card, and we'll pop that to the side. Okay, so let's bring this back. Now, I want to do some stamping on the oval, and I don't want it to go onto the rest of the page. So what I've done is I've got a Lavinia masking sheet and so this will cover an area completely cover an area of the page while I'm stamping on the other area so what I've done already is I traced around the the gel press the oval and I've cut it out okay so I'm going to peel that off and stick the masking sheet down now this will be able to once I've finished doing the stamping I want to on the oval I can remove this easily from the page so let's pop that down into place see if I can manage to do this without okay let's have a look easier said than done Julie right. I've planned it right the oval I reckon will be just slightly smaller than the stamped area there we are so i'm going to press that down so you can see the masking sheet there has covered the rest of the page but has left the oval free so now we're going to stamp because this is just a flat piece of paper it's really really easy uh, to stamp on there if you're using something like a say an acetate sheet or a mask that might be slightly raised it's a little bit harder to do your stamping this works extremely well so what's going to happen in the secret garden today I'm not sure where Murphy is, so it might be a good time to do this because I have brought along Mooch. I think Mooch needs to go in the secret garden. And I think for today I can call Mooch Murphy. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to use the stamp press here to help me position it. So I'm going to place my page into my stamp press. I'm going to position Mooch. I want him to be right there in the secret garden. I'm going to stamp Mooch with Nocturne. Now, to me, Nooch is the star of my secret garden, so I'm using the stamp press. I want to make sure Mooch stamps really nice. There we are. Take it away, have a look. Missed a little bit there, so again, because I'm on the stamp press, I get another chance here to stamp again just to give me a good solid image. You notice I didn't dry the paper. I find the ink very rarely does it come off wet off the gel press, but you could always give it a quick dry, but this is stamping, no problem. So now we've got a good strong image there of Mooch in the secret garden. Now I've got picked up a little mini stamp. I think it's the Leaf Creeper if I'm right. Check that in a minute. Where's that one gone? Yeah, this is one of the new ones, Mini Leaf Creeper. I've got an idea of maybe bringing that around the oval as well. Maybe I might do that once we've so we might finish stamping, take the sheet away, and then I might stamp that around the edge. So there's Mooch in the secret garden. Now, what else am I going to put in my secret garden? I'm thinking maybe some poppies. I love the, gar the poppy, garden poppy. So let's pop garden poppy in place. I'll make it nice and tall. The masking sheet will hide the hide the ends of the stamp of the stems there, so they're only going to end up in the oval. And I'm going to I'm thinking of very much a green, going still sticking with the green and the the green and the yellow theme. So let's have stamps everywhere, don't I? I'm going to pick up the garden poppy. I'm going to ink it up in Rainforest Versifying Clear, which is a nice deep green. Let's 
understand that. Let's have a look. That stamp fine, so we'll leave that as it is. Take that one away. So that's our garden poppy. I do have some little um, some butterflies which I'm going to pop flying around in the garden. I thought these hanging the hanging uh, starlight set might be nice coming down from the top. And let's add those in. And for those, we might go with. Ooh, I'm going to bring in an orange. I think that might look quite nice with this color scheme. And I have picked up saltwater taffy distress oxide to do some blending around the edge. So I thought we might go with a bit of a, a bit of a, um, a bit of an apricot theme as well. So let's start these hanging gardens. And I could actually pop these. We might take this out of the stamp press now. And I'll do these with the blocks. Being a smaller stamp. So my Lavinia acrylic plate. I only need the small one for this one. Here it is here. So let's pop that on there. And let's do some of these star lights. And the one I've chosen is Summertime. Really pretty orange. Versifying clay is such a great ink to stamp. So again, I can put this anywhere. The masking sheet is going to catch the top of the starlight set there. Yeah, there's that one. We'll do another one as well. Maybe one up here. There we go. They like lights, don't they? I suppose they're, maybe they're meant to be. And then we might do the there's two two different ones on here there's a smaller one and the larger one i've just stamped the larger starlight set now i've got the smaller one and we might bring in a nice green let's go green oasis versifying clear we'll do a couple in the green maybe we might do one right down here But I hope you're enjoying working in your journal with your Lavinia stamps. Just another way to use them. So I think I'm quite happy with those. We might leave those as they are. So that's our starlight set there. We've stamped with. Okay, and that was with the last ones there I did with Green Oasis. What else can I possibly fit in my secret garden? I do need to do the stamp, but I'm going to do that onto the outside page. I think I might bring this one in. This is the leaf creeper. So it's going to match him with my mini leaf creeper, which I want to bring in around the edge of the oval. And let's, I'm going to pick the smaller one, I think. What colour shall we do? I'm going to pick up this one, Golden Meadow. Pick that up. And we might just bring some of these dangling down as well but see how the masking sheet is catching the the rest of the stamp i love filling up areas with these beautiful foliage stamps that lavinia releases so this will match in really nicely with what i'm planning to do around the outside so that's our leaf creeper stamp that also comes with the larger size as well which is handy okay that's that one there well before i take off the masking sheet just one more thing i want to add and that is some of the little butterflies i've got here they are so we've got flutter by mini and mini flutter so let's get this one here and i'm thinking this one might be right up just teasing Mooch here, just flying above where Mooch is looking. And we're going to stamp this in oh yeah, quite a nice bright green. Verdant. This one, Versifying Claire, nice bright green colour. Sticking with our green theme here. So flying just out of reach, being very cheeky. And then we might do... This one as well, which is the mini flutter. Where should we pop mini flutter? So we've got a busy secret garden happening today. And this one's going to be flying. I have no idea. 
I might bring one over here. Not sure if you can see that. There we are. And maybe one more butterfly in the secret garden. Let's bring one in over here. Maybe. There we go. So we've got some butterflies. So I think I probably couldn't fit much more in there if I tried. Pretty much filled that one up. So let's. It's time to take away the masking sheet. See if it's all gone to plan or not. So I'm just going to peel this away. Now I can use this again. You can pop it back onto the plastic, the other side of the sheet. I'll pop it back on there. And I said that can be used over and over again. So I'll pop that aside for when I want to do something like this again. But you can see what's happened here. It's protected the outside. So all the stampings ended up like inside the oval. And now we now we can have some fun decorating the outside area of the page. So I'm going to bring in some Distress Oxide. I don't want to do any more stenciling. I don't want to take too much away from what's sitting in the middle of the page there. And this is where I thought I might bring in Saltwater Taffy. This is one of Tim Holtz's more recent colours and it's absolutely beautiful. So let's give this a go. I'm going to pick up my stencil brush. I'm going to use the large one here. And a little bit of ink off there. And let's start to bring this colour in around the oval. This might just look quite pretty around the outside of the page. It doesn't matter if I go over that gel press area a little bit. It's the colours light and that light enough that it's not going to take over there. You can still see the music in the background underneath this colour, which is really nice. Still see that on the page. To see where Murphy's gone. He was having a nice time exploring in the room and now he's disappeared. Maybe he knows that Mooch is on the page and he's jealous. You never know. Round, around, around. I'm not being too fussed. I quite like the variations in colour happening here with the blending. My looks a bit cloudy, doesn't it? I like the way that music is still showing through. I was actually going to bring in some music, some of the music notes from the music stamps that Lavinia has. And then I thought, well, if I use this, the music's there. So now we've got our saltwater taffy around the outside and the secret garden there in the middle still shining through. Before I forget, I am going to stamp my secret garden sign onto the page. I think we might place it. We might pop it down in the corner. Yeah, will it fit best here? Yeah, I think down here. And I might just miss those bottom bits. Just bring it down into that back bottom corner. Let's stamp this in Nocturne in the black. Bursa Fine Clear. I've got it on my Lavinia acrylic block. I'm just going to make sure it stays just outside of the circle there so let's pop the secret garden stamp there there it is so we've got our secret garden happening all right so what else is going to be in the secret garden today let's bring in that mini leaf creeper so i want to work this around the oval this could look quite good we might go with a darker colour, maybe one of the browns for this. So I popped it on my acrylic block. Let's bring in, in fact, I'm gonna go with I think I'm gonna go with acorn. That might look nice. Acorn Versafine Clear. Ink it up. And I've got this plan of just because it sort of bends a little bit, I thought it might be nice just to bring it in bordering around oops doing a bad job here of getting getting ink everywhere let's give that another try okay just right around the outside just another use for these fantastic little mini stamps Put 
this one just had that curve to it so I thought it might be pretty and I have a plan as well to put decorate these with some holographic glitter at the end as well we have holographic glitter this amazing product is back in stock in the shop we had a big shipment of it arrive yesterday so that's back in stock it's the most beautiful glitter I have ever seen almost there there we go keep getting ink on the plate doesn't that make a nice border you could use this on a card imagine that in the middle of your card beautiful okay so that's our mini leaf creeper border and I did that in the acorn versifying Claire I did bring in the owl I think the owl might work up there let's pop the owl up in the top corner I thought that might be a bit of fun so this is large owl this stamp is called and I've got the as always I will list everything I've used in the description as well as the details of where to send uh, your journal pages okay let's ink up the owl it's got a bit of attitude this owl Bring it right up into the top corner. We'll stamp that in the knot turn. I think the I think the large owl wants to get into the secret garden. Okay. Now there is a stamp called Secret Garden. I was thinking of using that. Oh, I'm not sure. Might be too much. It might look like it's sort of one of those things just doesn't belong here. Drooping dandelion I had out, I don't think so. That's another idea I have. Maybe we'll have Rory and Darcy down here in the corner. Mm, maybe not. Now this is where I need you to be here with me so you can tell me what to do. Because he's sort of pointing, but what's he pointing to? Don't know. No, that's not working for me. What shall we do? I think we might. Where's that garden poppy on? And where's the leaf creeper? Let's use some of the stamps which I used previously on the page. There's the garden poppy. So maybe we might just pop some little garden poppies down here. Pop that back onto the block. Maybe we'll put a little collection of these down here and we might go with, what colour should we do? I think I might stick with the rainforest that I did before. Let's do some outside of the secret garden as well. So the garden poppy. Little bit higher here, and maybe oops. and then a couple down here, and then we might do it getting lower and lower, fading out towards the side. That looks quite sweet, and I feel like it just needs something at the top as well, and then I think it'll be it will be done. This is where maybe we'll bring in, still matching what's going on down here, but we might bring in some of the leaf creeper. I'm going to use the larger one. I'm going to go with the rainforest again. So the same colour I've just used here with the garden poppy. Let's ink up the leaf creeper stamp and we'll bring some of these in at the top. I really like that saltwater taffy colour. Isn't that a, the prettiest oxide colour? Yeah. Oh, have these ones fading away as well getting smaller and smaller I just realized I've forgotten my coffee got so carried away with my Lavinia forgotten my coffee it's probably gone cold now hopefully you're having your coffee there we go 
I don't the only other thing I'm going to add to this page is the all-important holographic glitter and I'm going to add that to the mini leaf creeper that's gone around the outside so I've got my quickie glue pen Sakura quickie quickie glue pen and I'm just going to add little dots of glitter to the mini leaf creeper just to add that sparkle around the edge in the secret garden so I look forward to seeing your journal pages coming in with your secret gardens Lavinia has such good stamp sentiments I guess it's not really a sentiment but I thought we can get away with calling it a sentiment for our journal okay I'm going to pick up the holographic glitter, give it a sprinkle on the page just around. Don't go too heavy. It says it's, she can end up with glitter everywhere. I just want to add that little sparkle. What I love about this glitter, it goes with everything and it picks up all colours. It's just so pretty. Shake it off, give it a flick. See how it's just picked up? See the sparkle? Just enough to give that a sparkle around the edge. So this is my secret garden page. I said we look forward to seeing your pages. Have fun creating them. And if you feel comfortable to share them with us, we would love to see them. So anything, any pages we do put onto our Facebook, they are anonymous. We don't put any names up. But we just love to be able to share your the beautiful pages you create uh, with with our other customers and people watching our Facebook and YouTube. So thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. I will put the date up for when the, the challenge said we'll do a couple do this for a couple of weeks to give you a chance to make your pages. And then of course after that I'll be back with challenge number four. Enjoy. Have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.